Okay. Hey guys. Hey, hey. Um, so hi. It's been a really great weekend. Uh, lots of wild, fun stuff has happened, and we've been having a total blast. So I thought I would check in and say hey to uh, thanks everyone to who came um, and had a really great Friday. It was beautiful out. Um, but and we talked about a lot of some weird stuff. I mean, there's no doubt about it. We talked about some stuff that some people have not even heard about these subjects. And we also talked about different perspectives on subjects that people know about, but they didn't see it in a certain light. Oh, I forgot Johanna's sleeping. So I'm gonna come back down here. So yeah, it was, it was pretty eye-opening. But the point, the point of the show, <laughs> the point of the show is just opening up people's minds to uh, different ways of seeing things. Um, rather than just one way of seeing something because there can always be alternative um, perspectives. Well, I got this really funny story I got to share with you because it was just so bizarre and so strange. And I just, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to share this. So when you open up your space to the public, especially on subjects that can be pretty controversial, but we're doing it with fun, you know? You can attract some pretty strange people. <laughs> and you know, it's just, it just goes along with it. It just is what it is. Hey, Mac, Mac Truck, you're gonna love this story, dude. We got infiltrated by this total weirdo on Friday night. And uh, I, I just gotta share the story because it's just too much. So anyway, uh, it's Friday night. We had just uh, opened the gates. So Johanna's at the gate and you know, the whole point of what we were going to do was just like, all right, we're going to have uh, some music playing. Uh, Steven's got his really cool murals up and uh, we're going to screen the film, you know, and it's really just about Steven's night and hanging out. And uh, we had one one or two people that I thought would, would be able to talk that I just met. You know, one lady who was really sweet. Her name was Patty. She had a really great story to share. But this other guy, okay so bizarre. So I'm helping, I'm helping, uh, S Steven and, and, uh, Anthony getting ready. And, uh, this guy comes up, he's got this backpack, he's got this big suit on and very serious. And he walks up right up to me and he goes, um, I need to know if I can film here tonight. Um, you must know me. I'm Dr. Matthew and everyone knows me. Steven knows me. I'm all, everyone knows me. So it should be fine. I'm like, I don't know you dude, like at all. And no, you're not filming here tonight because I don't know you. It's my house. You're not going to go around freaking, you know, videotape people in my house. And uh, anyway, he tells me that he knows Steven. I'm like, oh, really? Let's go hi say hi to Steven. So we walk over to Steven. D Steven doesn't know the dude at all. So the guy, like even though I'm standing right there, the guy's like trying to like cover it up that like two seconds ago, he didn't just tell me that he personally knew Steven. He goes, oh, 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 well, we know all these same people up in uh, this target individual group up in Boston. Well, the targeted group in Boston just threw, hit, threw Steven under the bus. So these are not like trustworthy people that he's talking about. And we're like, what's going on here? This is really weird. It's just weird, <laughs> but it's funny. So... He's like, can I talk? Can I come up and talk after um, the film is done? And we're, I'm like, well, I'm thinking to myself, like trying to be open-minded, like, well, if he's got a cool story, like you want to share something, maybe, we'll see. Uh, but, I, but I definitely said you can't film. Well, as the night progresses, not only is he secretly filming everything, and he's, he goes over to Melissa Honeybee and he tries to pretend like I already know him and Steven already knows him. And he, and he already had videotaped her without her permission. And then he says, oh, is it okay if I had just, do you mind if I, I had already filmed you, but is it okay if I did that? Really? Seriously? And honey, and Melissa didn't know that I had already told him there was no filming under any circumstances in my, on my property with, with him. So she's like, I guess so. I think so. 
um, if you feel like it. She didn't. She didn't think there was anything. She couldn't. Didn't know that there was something wrong with this dude. Like there's something weird. It gets better. <laughs> so the the screening of the film happens, and it was it was great. You know, it's pretty intense. It's intense stuff, and it's can make people pretty uncomfortable and unnerved. But uh, I get up afterward, and I invited Patty to talk, and she talked about some really wild experimentations that the medical industry did on her. And now they keep tabs on her. And then she sat down. She's a very sweet lady, very sweet, very earnest, very kind. Well, then this Dr. Matthew guy <laughs> gets up and he starts like tape. He's taping himself speaking and he's talking like he's the leader of the night. Like he gets up there making up some kind of story about what he was doing in the past that was very elusive and then is like we're I'm so glad we're here and we're starting a grassroots movement and we're doing all this stuff and I'm like we none of us know you we don't know who are you we just want if you want to share a personal story about something for like two minutes that's awesome but he's like going off thinking it's he's some sort of political rally <laughs> What's going on? But, you know, of course, I'm trying to keep it cool. Like, I'm not going to, like, freak out or something on the dude. But, you know, when all of us later put our heads together about that whole night and, like, what, 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 what we each saw with this dude, we're like, okay, uh, I got to get online and just tell you guys, like, if there's some dude named Dr. Matthew who like all of a sudden like starts posting some stuff about how now my house is like ground zero for some sort of like strange political like movement. Um, just know that that's sort of totally not true. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was a backyard. It's a backyard. We were having an art show. We were showing a film and we just talk wild, fun campfire stories about things that go on in the world that you're not going to hear from Brian Williams. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, no, thank you to everybody who has supported um, from far away. Um, thank you to all the different uh, news. Uh, we don't, I don't even like the word alternative now because that's gotten bastardized as well. People want to take that away from people too and make it seem like we're some sort of like mad, crazy people. Well, you know, whatever. It's good. But um, thank you to so many um, people, news, news sources, and you know who you are. Um, Sean Stone, uh, Jim and Angie from Victorious Libertas. Thank you so much for the subscribers that have uh, su donated. We're going to do prints of uh, the work that's out there. Um, I got to get a really nice camera and photograph it. Anthony's going to help me with that and uh, get them printed up, get Stephen to sign them. I got to mail them to him for him to sign. And he's got to mail them back to me. And then I'll ship them out to each one of you who um, donated $50 or more to the project to make it happen. And uh, you'll have your own print from the show. And uh, thank you so much for the people that were actually here. We had a beautiful day and a beautiful night. And, uh, you know, thanks for listening to me talk a lot on the mic. Uh, I'm trying to work on that. Um, and, yeah, so i got to go downstairs right now. We're going to do an interview with a honeybee. And um, that's about what's going on. So I hope you guys really have a great week. I really do. And, uh, of course, as always. And, uh, you know, just keep doing what you do. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. But, yeah, life can be very weird sometimes. And people get weird around weird subjects and weird events. So just know, honeybee, honeybee does not know Dr. Matthew. And if Dr. Matthew is watching this video, you are not, you have zero permission to publish anything or share any video of my backyard and of the studio from videotaping me, Anthony, Stephen, Honeybee, you don't. And if you do it, we will prosecute to the fullest extent of the law. And I'm not even playing. Um, Honeybee has, has disavowed knowing you. Stephen Shellen, the same thing. Anthony, myself, we don't know you, dude. We don't know you.
You just came as an attendee like anybody else. And we were gracious enough to just trust that you came for the right intent and the right purpose. But clearly you lied and you were shady. And uh, that's just not, that's just not good. Um, that's not a good way to start off on any foot with some, with people. So um, you lost there. So we really don't want anything to do with you. Um, okay. So other than that, everybody, we'll see you soon. And um, if you want to come by, um, I'm going to post some more pictures of what it looks like, um, in it, the some of the art looks like. And, um, you know, if anyone's got any questions or anything like that about the show or um, whatnot, just, you know, shoot me a personal message or um, send me an email at KimBerryStudio at gmail.com. Okay? So just remember, at the end of the day, we're just people and we love to make art and we love to make music and we like to talk all kinds of wild conversations and that's what it's all about. Because if take that away, we're going to be little mice just hanging out on a one of those ring things. And that's a really boring way to live, isn't it? We're not science experiments and we're not lab rats. I think we have a lot more in ourselves and each other um, to do in this world than that. All right. Love you guys. And, uh, I will talk to you soon.